the armed forces of Russia continue to launch offensive strategies in special military operation in Ukraine August 21. In Donetsk direction, as a result of professional actions by units of the Yug group of forces, army aviation and artillery, three enemy attacks have been successfully repelled close to Krasnogorovka and Nevelskoye, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 225 Ukrainian servicemen killed and wounded, two infantry fighting vehicles, three armored fighting vehicles, four motor vehicles, one Vozdika self-propelled artillery system, MSTAB and D-30 howitzers, as well as one U.S. manufactured and TPQ-36 counter-battery radar station, said Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman. In South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok Group of Forces, supported by Operational Tactical Aviation and Artillery, AFU units have been hit near Staromerskoye and Yurizhenoye, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 110 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, UK manufactured as 90 Braveheart and Nona S self-propelled artillery systems, as well as one US manufactured M777 artillery system. Russia paratroopers repel offensive of Ukrainian formations on western outskirts of Archermost. Airborne troops UAV operators spotted several groups of Ukrainian infantry advancing towards the positions of Russian units. Having let the enemy up to a certain point and allowing him to occupy several wooded areas, the paratroopers covered the advancing Ukrainian units with massive fire from rocket-propelled grenade. On the fleeing Ukrainian fighters, the winged infantry, servicemen launched the attack with AGS-17, Clamier, automatic grenade launcher and cord, 12, 7mm large caliber machine gun. The attack of the Ukrainian formations was repulsed, most of the enemy military personnel were destroyed, said Russia Defense Ministry in an official statement. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized manpower and military hardware in 167 areas. Russia air defense facilities have shot down one Su-25 aircraft of Ukrainian Air Force near Stororeskoye, Donetsk People's Republic, and have intercepted three projectiles of Uragan and HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, said Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman. In addition, 36 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been destroyed close to Kremenia, Krivoshivka, Lugansk People's Republic, Krasnaya Polyana, Berestovoye, Stepnoye, Gulovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Vladimirovka, Kherson region. The armed forces of Ukraine shows footage of destroying enemy's heavy artillery in front line. In the Luhansk direction, aerial reconnaissance 100 Obtro detected an enemy self-propelled mortar 240mm 2s4, T-U-L-I-P-A-N. The coordinates were given to the 45th Separate Artillery Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The mortar is destroyed, said the statement. The armed forces of Ukraine continue to conduct an offensive operation in the Melitopol and Berdyansk directions, are entrenched at the reached boundaries, and carry out counter-battery countermeasures. During the past day, Ukraine air forces made nine strikes on areas where enemy personnel were concentrated. 
Ukraine units of missile troops and artillery also hit one control point and three artillery means at the enemy's firing positions. The general staff of Ukraine's armed forces reported that Russia conducted unsuccessful assaults near Kurdyumuka, some 20 kilometers south of Bakhmut, and Sinkivka, around 15 kilometers from Kupiansk, Kharkiv Oblast. Ukraine's military added that it kept holding back Russian advances near Marinka and conducting counter-offensive actions toward occupied Melitopol and Berdyansk in Zaporizhia Oblast. The armed forces of Ukraine reported on August 21 that Russia had lost 257,930 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion on February 24, 2022. This number includes 460 casualties Russian forces suffered in the last 24 hour. According to the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces report, Russia has also lost 4,358 tanks, 8,449 armored fighting vehicles, 5,264 artillery systems, 719 multiple launch rocket systems, 489 air defense systems, 315 airplanes, 316 helicopters, 4,309 drones, 18 boats, 7,692 vehicles and fuel tanks and 794 special equipment. Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenko of the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman said the armed forces of Ukraine in total have been losing 462 airplanes, 246 helicopters, 5,913 unmanned aerial vehicles, 431 air defense missile systems, 11,426 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles. Also 1,144 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,969 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 12,357 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In the Kupiansk direction, the units of the Zapad Group of Forces, supported by operational tactical aviation and artillery, improved the situation along the front line. Four attacks by units of the 25th Airborne, 95th Airborne Assault, and 14th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have been repelled close to Simkovka in Kharkov region and Novoselovskoye in Lugansk People's Republic. One field ammunition depot of the Ukraine Ukrainian 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade has been destroyed near Stelmachovka in Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 160 Ukrainian servicemen, five armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, one US-made M777 artillery system, Polish-made crop, US-made M109 Paladin and Akatsya self-propelled artillery systems, as well as two US-made ANTBQ-50 counter-battery radar stations. In the Zaporozhye direction, as a result of 
coordinated actions by units of the Russian grouping of troops, supported by missile troops units, artillery, heavy flamethrower systems and aviation, five attacks by units of the 82nd Airborne Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Strategic Reserve have been repelled near Rabotino in Zaporozhye region. One ammunition depot of the 65th Mechanized Brigade has been destroyed near Omelnik in Zaporozhye region. The enemy losses were up to 80 Ukrainian servicemen, three infantry fighting vehicles, four motor vehicles, UK-made FH-70, D-20 and D-30 howitzers, two US-made M-119 guns, as well as one US-made AMTPQ-50 counter-battery radar station. In the Donetsk direction, as a result of professional actions by units of the U group of forces, Army Aviation and Artillery, three enemy attacks have been successfully repelled close to Krasnogorovka and Nevelskoye in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 225 Ukrainian servicemen killed and wounded, two infantry fighting vehicles, three armored fighting vehicles, four motor vehicles, one was Dika self-propelled artillery system, Msta B and D-30 howitzers, as well as one US-made AMTPQ-36 counter-battery radar station. In the South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok Group of Forces, supported by operational tactical aviation and artillery, have hit Ukrainian units near Staromayorskoye and Urajainoye in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 110 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, UK-made AS-90 Braveheart and Nona S self-propelled artillery systems, as well as one US-made M777 artillery system. In the Krasny Leman direction, Units of the Center Group of Forces, supported by ground attack and dummy aviation, repelled two enemy attacks near Chervona Dibrova in Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, units of the 42nd, 63rd and 67th Mechanized Brigades, as well as 95th Airborne Assault Brigade, have been hit near Yampolovka, Serebrenka and Grigorovka in Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 75 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks and one D-30 Howitzer. In the Kherson direction, the enemy losses were up to 45 Ukrainian servicemen, 8 motor vehicles and two 120mm motors. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery of the armed forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized manpower and military equipment in 167 areas. Air defense facilities have shot down one Su-25 airplane of the Ukrainian Air Force near Stararaiskoye in Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have intercepted three projectiles of Uragan and Heimer's multiple launch rocket systems. In addition, 36 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been destroyed close to Kremenaya, Krivosheevka in Lugansk People's Republic, Krasnaya Polyana, Berestavoye, Stepnoye, Gorlovka of Donetsk People's Republic and Vladimirovka of Kherson region. In total, 462 airplanes, 246 helicopters, 5,913 unmanned aerial vehicles, 431 air defense missile systems, 11,426 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,144 fighting vehicles equipped with MRLS, 5,969 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 12,357 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Кристерсон, весь уряд Швеции, весь шведский народ и дякую. Нидерланды, как всегда, продуктивно и этого разу, особенно сильно. 42 не так и идет в 16. Мы можем отримати для Украины. Отримаем. Дякую тебе, Марк, премьер-министр, всей твоей команде. Дякую народу Нидерландов. Дания, еще 19, F-16, плюс... Расширим тренирование. Дякую, Дания, дорогая Мэтта, пани премьер-министр, вся урядовая команда. Только ты тоже дякую. Было честью для меня свернуться до парламента Дании. Дякую людям, подушным людям Дании. 
наш спільний пріоритет для всіх європейців, щоб всі народи на всіх континентах могли однаково насолоджуватися безпечним життям, що більше стабільності в світі, то більше стабільності в нашому європейському домі. У всіх трьох країнах ми говорили про нові пакети оборонної підтримки для воїнів, про політичну взаємодію, про формулу миру. Хочу особливо подякувати і Швеції, Нідерландам, і Данії за підтримку формулу миру. Мир – це завжди результат спільних зусиль, завжди безпека в всіх сферах життя. Вона буде для України, для світу. Росії не вдасться зламати глобальну безпеку. Окремо хочу подякувати Сполучені Штати Америки за підтримку нашої свободи, нашої авіаційної каліки. F-16 літак зроблений Сполученими Штатами. Дуже важливо, що президент Байден і його команда і зусилля радники госпіталь національної безпеки Саліва на обидві партії Конгресу США. Мільйон, мільйони американців підтримують нас битви за свободу, за незалежність, за наші людей. Дякую, Америку. Робота політиків – це єдність, більше єдності, більше сили. Коли єдність міцніє, і міцніше стають досяжні навіть такі речі, які здавалися комусь фантастичними раніше. Ти в 16 будуть в Україні. Не зупиняємося. Тому ще сили. Наша держава. Слава Украине!